first first gear Gah, second gear <laughs> Gee, they sold these to people I can't drive this car yet. I need my cargo shorts, long sleeve t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt, knock off Chuck Taylors, snap back worn backwards, small sunglasses, and a flip phone. Click on the link in the description. Buy a mug, digital download, and someone's going to win their very own <gasps> Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 Twin Turbo. I know you're literally watching the video, but I just want to say it so you remember. It's go.getenteredtowin.com slash regular cars. If you remember nothing else, you can just type that into the browser and it takes you to the website where you can win this car. Thank you so much everybody for participating in these giveaways. You are helping RCR get to Australia in November of 2024, just in case you're watching this like years in the future. Oh, you're gonna love this because I'm loving this. If you are ever, ever thinking about entering an RCR giveaway, this is the one to do. Time to call 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T and tell the automated message that my name is Come Pick Me Up, My Dick Is Out. You dark, evil horse. You, you're not even at redline yet. You got a thousand more RPM. <laughs> Welcome to the Slayer. Welcome to the meanest SOB to ever come out of the 90s. Welcome to danger. Welcome to the VR4 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. What a name. 7,000 RPM redline and balls draining noises all the way there. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 is Mitsubishi at its peak. When build quality existed, when power meant refinement, and turbocharging technology was as good as Toyota's. It's all the power you expect in an Evo, but more cylinders, more displacement, more turbos, enveloped in a wind-slicing body, and commanded from an interior that looks more like a sit-down arcade cabinet than a car. Ah. Brian, I have to interrupt myself for a minute. I was about to say this is a this is a two, uh, 1993. This is yes. This is a 1995, which means it has more power, 20 more horsepower to be exact, putting it exactly in line with a Toyota Supra Turbo. This car was an example that Mitsubishi could do it. They could stand toe to toe with giants. It's from an era that may never come again. So what the Mitsubishi 3000 GT really was, was Mitsubishi daring to punch the face of God. God being the fourth gen Supra. You don't own big power Toyota. You don't own high boost. You don't own a 155 mile an hour top speed. Yeah, right, 155. It is not that, it's quite more. And this was... This goes like it did in Gran Turismo. I believe definitely the reports back in the day from, I think I mentioned it was Auto Week, <laughs> that the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 is almost a half second, I think 0.4, let's just call it a half second, a half second faster to 60 than the beloved, no one coming, no one coming, no one coming, here we go. Accurate NSX. And this makes, I'm getting distracted because this car is so good. You feel like you're in a fighter plane in this. I drove, Supras, and they are fast, but they are definitely GT cars. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 is definitely a fighter plane. The commercial for the 3000 GT was that elegant style of upper class self-suck confidence that only comes when your company's cocktail parties begin with a powdered sugar sampler tray. <laughs> The commercial begins with 
well-dressed urbane or suburban folks standing around indoors clapping in front of a J.D. Power and Associates Award or something. And then we see slow motion shots of a resale red 3000 GT driving slowly through the warm light of an evening sun. The road is moist from afternoon summer showers that have recently passed. The 3000's clear coat is reflective and slick, covered in warm water and pre-cum. And back indoors, the men are all dressed like Pierce Brosnan as James Bond and women are dressed like Gillian Anderson as Agent Scully. There's a photographer present to document everyone's boners. More slow-mo shots of the 3000 GT coming to a vagina near you. No engine sounds, no nothing, no pictures of anyone driving it. Just rich people and softcore porn, that's how you sell a car. Oh, and another thing that makes it all like Booger Sugar, the commercial. They don't really spend too much time talking about the car. They also are congratulating themselves as Mitsubishi for how awesome we are. What, you're not going to buy this? Look at us. We kick ass. I remember when I first drove a Toyota Supra Turbo, I was a little bit underwhelmed. I was aware I was driving one of the greatest cars ever made. But when I waited for the turbo, when the turbo was all kind of mid-grade and then it sort of fell on itself, I'm like, oh, a Toyota Super Turbo is very good, but the 2JZ needs to be woken up. It's kind of tame out of the box. Whereas Mitsubishi had to end the conversation immediately. This car, out of the box, no modifications, no tune. I mean, there is a, the box said 10 horsepower air intake, right? And there is a curiously American uh, oil exhaust on the back, but the tune's the same. This is as good as a Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 was coming out of the factory. They wanted people to get into one of these things and realize, holy crap, this is nuts directly out of the box. And it is. There is something to sales, to producing a car that's a little bit out of control right away. I think we're getting back to that a little bit in, in modern senses with like EVs being, being really fast and each one out endangering the other. But it's not a road that's been untraveled. They were doing this in the 90s. Downshifts. Oh, they downshift so well. Oh, you just stab the throttle. You find the next gear. I'm concentrating here. I'm concentrating here. Yeah, brakes are good. Brakes are good. Good brakes. This car is 30 years old. Oh, look. Someone served. You will feel a little bit of that Subaru driveline. Ooh, good corner. Good corner. Good corner. You will feel a little bit of uh, the Subaru driveline shunt if you change gear a little bit too rapidly. Oh, there it did it again. Because it's an all-wheel drive car, making a lot of power and revving really high. Gosh, the turn-in. The 3000 GT is a very large car by 1990 standards, of course. But it does not behave like one. You can tell the Evo and the rally experience from Mitsubishi throughout the 90s, the winners that they were, is alive here. It's the same technology applied to, do we call it, do we call this a supercar? Well, maybe? FM, diversity, anti-theft Mitsubishi Motors, disc, auto, me <laughs> auto metal. How would a tape cassette, you'd almost have to ask Tecmon, how would a tape cassette player know automatically that there's a metal tape in here? The Mitsubishi 3000 GT, never got its moment in the sun. Not in the sense that the Supra did. That's why the 3000 GT, and more specifically the VR4, is the dark horse of the 90s power wars and speed wars, if you want to call it that, for cars. And it is controllable too. Mitsubishi really went for it with this. If you put someone who really wasn't into cars in both a 
Toyota Supra uh, GTS, GTE, and then put them in this, they would say, well, obviously this is faster because it's so punchy off the line. Mitsubishi wanted to flip the script on everybody. They wanted to say, no, we're just as good as Toyota. In fact, we're gonna out Toyota you, Toyota. We're gonna make a car that accelerates way more violently, handles better, turns sharper, and has more technology. They really went for it, man. And it shows. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on. <laughs> That's not to say that how good this uh, Mitsubishi 3000 GT is, VR4, it's not above some 90s tropes of having vents that don't really do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, technically they do do something. All right, they go somewhere. I don't know what they're doing. What are you doing, just cooling the tire? I love that these things still work because even you sit in these things and you kind of slouch back. So my hand is not quite long enough to reach the volume controls, but I got them down here. And I don't know what Auto M and M Cal do. I've, I've been pressing them, they don't do, really do anything. Also, there's a mute feature right here, but there's no car phone here. So is this just for convenience? That if I wanna talk to someone, I have it here? Okay, it goes from 65, 70, that's me, 80, 90. How much? Who needs 90 degrees coming out of this thing? Every time you switch modes, the d little animated LEDs change. I like how you can see the unused ones in the background, kind of like a Tiger Electronics handheld game. Oh, I just noticed something. Hold on. The crotch, the crotch heater, the crotch vent, the ball cooler, I did not notice this, is adjustable. You can aim it. I did not see that. Oh, you can aim it in and out? Look at this. It's adjustable for a narrow beam <laughs> right to your balls or wide. And then here, adjustable up and down. Oh, what do we have here in the back seat? Under Velcro. Is that a CD changer? Yes, it is for home and car use. Okay, so it says for home and car use on it. So that means, no, oh, someone's out with a motorcycle. Withdraw trays from the case one at a time. Oh, they work like this. And then you load in your CDs. Well, I gotta go get some CDs then. And if I'm right, through these windows right here, when I put it back in, it's going to try to load all the six discs that are in here. Yep, there it goes. So the Mitsubishi 3000 GT was produced from 1990 to the year 2000 making it one of the most 90s cars ever made. It never set foot in either decade and shave my balls, the year 2000 is still the 90s because that thing didn't happen yet. The 3000 GT also didn't have generations as we understand them in the United States. It had series and there were three of them, which I guess you could think of series as sort of like facelifts. Now the base model, of the 3000, the, the Mitsubishi 3000s, uh, had a naturally aspirated three liter transverse mounted double cam 6G72 engine making 222 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 201 pound feet of torque at 4,500 RPM. It uses two small in-house developed TD0403B turbochargers and they spool fast. And that's how the 3000 GT VR4 is faster than the revered Acura NSX. The lowest recorded 0 to 60 time of a stock VR4 3000 GT is 4.9 seconds by Hemmings, while the NSX did 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds when tested by AutoWeek. The 3000 GT was made specifically to compete with Honda. 
and to an extension Toyota. And just like how Mitsubishi used the Evos to out crazy Subaru STIs, the 3000 GTs out asylumed the NSX with all wheel drive, all wheel steering, limited slip differential, and active aerodynamics. The 6G72 would be subsequently tuned up to 320 horsepower, putting it exactly on par with the 4th gen Toyota Supra GTE twin turbo, which also made 320 horsepower. Mmm, how do you like that? How do you like that 2J? Mitsubishi can play this game. But unlike the Supra, which had laggy turbochargers, which I admit are fun. Well, Peggy, you know how I like delayed gratification. Well, Peggy, you know how I like to have my unmentionables rearranged. Well, Peggy, you know how I like my propane-powered urethra expander shaped like Ronald Reagan. Everyone has a Hank Hill. No one has a good Hank Hill. The 3000 GT doesn't lag 1990s style. It pulls strong 2010s BMW style. And for those who are paying attention, that box Mitsubishi Gallant we reviewed two weeks ago also used a 6G72 3 liter, only with single cam heads and no turbochargers. The list of cars which use the 6G72 is huge. Are you ready? Dodge Caravan and all minivans, Chrysler New Yorker, Dodge Raider, Mitsubishi Montero, Dodge Spirit, Chrysler TC by Maserati, Chrysler LeBaron, Mitsubishi Mighty Max, Hyundai Sonata, Dodge Shadow, Mitsubishi Delica, Mitsubishi Gallant, Mitsubishi Eclipse, Dodge Stratus, and a bunch of other JDM stuff. But it wasn't just Mitsubishi that was using regular engines in their premium models. Your precious NSX used the Honda C30A and the C30Bs which are just double cam 3 liter versions of the C27A, which is the 2.7 liter single overhead cam V6 in the Honda Accord. And your 2J, which you're all masturbating over, is just the star child of at least 20 different cars. When Justin said he found a 3000, I was like, yeah, okay, I remember that. It's kind of like an odd wearable. And here I am driving it, dude. There are few cars after driving so many that exceed my expectations. This one does. This is fan freaking tastic. Talking about Australia, this make the three, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 reminds me of the, the Holden that we got, the Pontiac GTO, that they just sold these to people. Yeah. <laughs> the six liter V8 and a, a six speed, yeah, go die. <laughs> this is Mitsubishi saying, hey, here's the most expensive car we make. <laughs> go drive it and go die. There, there is uh, anti-lock, you got that. Um, there is a viscous limited slip differential and full-time all-wheel drive. I love Subarus. I love them dearly. And I owned one and I love WRXs and I like STIs even more. But the great thing about healthy competition is it means there's always someone clicking at the heels. And the 3000 GT is one of the great cars of all time because it always was the underdog. So it had to prove itself that it's as good as Honda, as good as Toyota. And during the 90s, I'd say Mitsubishi was as good as those two oh. this car. how fast can this thing really go this is rally car technology put in a sports car frame let's just have everything all at once and normally that concoction just makes for a terrible drive when there's too much technology but the 3000 it all comes together it all works now i drove a dodge stealth a million years ago i think in Rosemont, Illinois. I remember feeling underwhelmed by the car, and maybe that's because I was in traffic. I was in the Chicago Burbs. Is Rosemont the Burbs? It is a nice area. I don't know. I don't spend enough time in Chicago. I have to go back. But here I am on a Pennsylvania back road in a fast twin turbo car with all wheel drive, 
and suddenly like, oh, this is made for this. God damn, this looks great. If you are ever, ever thinking about entering an RCR giveaway, this is the one to do. And who knows if we'll ever get a car like this to give away again. So click on the link in the description, buy a mug or a digital download, and someone, and it could be you, will win this Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4.